Welcome to the Pyramid Air Holiday Gift Guide 2018 edition. Today we're taking a look at some historical replicas. We're taking a walk down memory lane. Let's see what we find. First gun up today, a broom handle Mauser replica. This is the M712 out of Umarex's Legends line. A lot of fun. The really cool part about this gun is it's capable of full auto fire as well as semi-auto and full blowback, which is a ton of fun. Uh, it also has an adjustable rear sight for elevation, which is pretty neat, and a drop-free magazine, of course. You can spit the BBs out of here really quick on that full auto setting. Next up out of Germany as well, one of the most ergonomically friendly guns on the market, whether it was today or back in the 1930s and 40s, the Luger. Now this is the P08, also in Umarex's Legends line. Cool thing about this gun, also full blowback, actually has the flip up toggle there. You drop the magazine out of this guy and you can pop it down. And of course it does reciprocate every time you pull the trigger. Now this is semi-auto only, but a ton of fun and uh, a very hard to find replica. Uh, the real thing is almost impossible to get your hands on these days. And when you can find them, they are extremely expensive. So if you're looking to replicate that real feel in your hand, this is definitely a good option for you collectors out there. Next up, an American classic. Now this is the John Wayne commemorative edition. This is a 1911. Obviously world famous at this point, guys, but this is a full blowback version with a weathered touch to it. Uh, it has a really nice look. The faux wood grips are very nice as well. And of course you get a nice drop free magazine and these are readily available so you can have spares on hand. But this is gonna give you all of your real controls and real steel feel and a very nice trigger to boot. Next up, the gun Indiana Jones made famous, the Webley Mark VI. This is a really, really cool gun, guys. Uh, obviously, double action, single action, very easy to operate. One of the cool things about this guy, you flip that back and you actually have those same BB or pellet shells, depending on which version you get, uh, that you load your uh, ammo right into the back of. So it gives you that little bit of a realistic touch. This gun is awesome, feels great in the hand. Obviously, full metal construction outside of the grips, definitely one to check out. And last up for our pistols, the Colt Single Action Army 7.5 inch. Now the one we have here is the NRA Commemorative Edition with the uh, NRA emblems in there. It says the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Like that one a lot. Uh, this guy is a little bit more powerful than some of the other single actions on there because it has that longer barrel. Uh, but very realistic replica. You go ahead and cock that all the way back. Single action only, a very nice operation. You set it on that half cock position and you can get your shells out of there, no problem. You have a BB version, a pellet version. This gun is a lot of fun, comes in a few different lengths. Definitely one to check out. Moving on to our rifles, guys, the Daisy Winchester M14. Now this is a largely plastic gun, so a very lightweight gun. Uh, but has a very nice feel to it, very reminiscent of the real thing, the M14 that was made famous really during the Vietnam era. Uh, very nice sights, you do get that full adjustment out of the sights, as well as a realistic cocking action, drop free style magazine that houses two CO2 cartridges right down in there, as well as your stick style magazine, which is gonna be good for pellets or BBs, you get eight rounds on each end. Uh, this is a very solid gun at a really good price. Uh, so if you are looking for something that maybe you're gonna knock around in the backyard with to run on CO2, this is a good one to check out. Now probably my favorite gun on the table here today, guys, the Gletcher Mosin Nagant. Now this is one of the more realistic uh, rifle replicas that we have here. Uh, full bolt action, just like the real thing. Uh, you even can see the back of the bolt slam forward when you pull the trigger. You get the adjustable sight. You even get the bayonet on here, which is super awesome. You pull that guy back, slide it all the way forward, flip him past the tip of the barrel, and you're good to go. You can go to war with this thing, guys. This is a ton of fun, a BB repeater. Kind of an odd style magazine, one CO2 cartridge, but works very well and is a ton of fun. Has a very realistic weight too. Check this one out. Next up, our only non-CO2 gun on the table today. This is the Diana Mauser model K98, obviously modeled after the K98 rifle. Uh, this is a very, very realistic spring gun replica, obviously with some features that you're not gonna see on a firearm, uh, namely the scope rail, but still a very uh, true to scale and feel uh, rifle. Now this is an under lever, of course you have your under lever here, 
You have your breech here to load your pellets, 22 caliber. This is actually gonna be good enough to hunt small game with. It's very accurate and you do have that scope rail if you wanna get the most precision out of it. So if you like the feel of a K98 and you're looking for something with good power to it, this is a great replica to have in your collection. Last but certainly not least, another one in the Umarex Legends line. This is the MP40. We actually did a full review on this gun. This is a BB full auto blaster, tons of fun. Obviously replicates the real steel German version quite well. Even has that blowback here, that bolt reciprocates. Uh, this thing is a ton of fun. It's a 52 round BB magazine, tons and tons of shots. Two CO2 cartridges, you do have the fold under stock here as well. Uh, you can even get a weathered version, comes with a sling. Tons of fun, very realistic replica, great backyard blaster that you're definitely going to want to check out. Thanks for joining us today here on the Insider Holiday Gift Guide as we took a look back in time. We hope you liked the video today, guys. Uh, if you did, hit that like button. Go ahead, comment down below. Let us know what you think and what you want to see more of. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm Tyler Patner. We'll see you guys at the next one.